Hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, this video is about how to install the Keras library uh, on Anaconda in Windows 10. So I have written down some of the steps uh, which I'll use to uh, first create an environment and then install Keras. So the first step uh, in installing Keras would be, now this is optional but I'd advise you to do so. Uh, to, the first step is to create a new Conda environment where we will install our modules to build our models. So uh, the first step in step one is to open Anaconda prompt. And if you don't have, if your login doesn't have sufficient privileges, then uh, I'd advise you to open, to run it as, a, as administrator. So I'll just show you. So let's open Anaconda, search for Anaconda prompt, right click on it, run as administrator. Okay, so now it has opened. Now, we'll, what we need to do is to create an environment. Now I'm calling this, I'm naming this environment as deep learning. Now you can call it anything, uh, maybe DL or, or Akira's or anything. Uh, better call it with a, some, some, call it with some unique name. So I'm just copying it. Okay, I'm just pasting. So this is conda create hyphen hyphen name deep, deep learning. Now this uh, installation might take some time. Okay. So I'll let it complete. I'll just pause the video for, for a moment. Okay, uh, not required. So it's asking package plan, environment location. Uh, okay, proceed, yes or no. So I'll click on Y, enter. Okay, so uh, this has created a new environment. Now the second step is to activate the environment which we have created. As activate deep learning. Okay, now you can see uh, we are in this environment. Now, now coming on to the main thing, uh, installing Keras. So I'll be using this command, conda install hyphen C and a conda Keras. Enter. Now this might take a little bit of time. Whenever I say it takes, it will take a little bit of time, it starts immediately. Anyways, so the following, okay, I'll just go up. So the, it says the following packages will be downloaded. So basically Keras will be 2.2.4 let's see then numpy okay numpy then tensorflow will be 1.14.0 okay so the following new packages will be installed so they will download it and then install those packages so let's click on y So after this complete, I have already uh, I have also written some test script uh, uh, to to see whether the installation is fine and I am able to run Keras or not. Now this time it will definitely take some time. So uh, because it will download all the uh, packages libraries. So I'll I'll just pause the video for a moment till this completes.
Okay, as you can see that it's uh, the download is almost complete. Downloading and extracting is almost complete. Now it will it is uh, saying preparing transaction done, verifying transaction done. So now it will install the packages. So verifying transaction done, executing transaction. I'm sorry if there is some background background noise. Uh, so the the installation is complete now. Uh, now I'll run some some test scripts to ch uh, to check if it's uh, working fine or not. Uh, okay, so uh, we just uh, ran and completed this uh, this command at conda install hyphen cna conda keras. Now before running the test script, a few minutes back I said that I'll be running the test script, but uh, before running the test script we uh, just need to run few more commands now this is very very important i have mentioned it here uh, i'll read through what i have written now since this is a new environment you need to do few installations again otherwise while importing keras it will give the following error the error will be module not found error no module named keras so uh, once you are done with uh, install uh, running this command the two um, other important commands that we need to run is conda install Jupyter because when we create a new environment Jupyter and Spider are not installed by default. So let's run this command. I have already run, run this. I'll run it again. Now this is very important because uh, yeah, this is very important if you work on Jupyter Notebook, uh, we need to run conda install Jupyter and for Spider, conda install Spider again. Now as uh, I have already said that uh, I, have, I have run it, so it says all requested packages already installed. So if you are doing it for the first time, it will ask you to uh, uh, click on y, uh, y or N. So click on Y and complete the installation. The second command would be conda install Spider. Again, I'll give this and get the same uh, output. Okay, so since I've already installed it, that's why it's giving these messages. Now matplotlib and pandas will also not be there. So we need to install matplotlib for visualization and pandas I'm doing this again uh, because if you are doing it for the first time you can follow along okay this is already installed again conda install pandas If uh, in your coding you are not you don't need matplotlib or pandas, then you do, you don't need to do uh, you do, you don't need to install uh, pandas or matplotlib. But it's advisable because anyways you will uh, use it sooner or later. Okay, so now is the actual installation for uh, Keras complete. I'll again uh, say that after completing conda install hyphen anaconda Keras please install conda install jupyter and conda install spider otherwise you will not be able to import matplotlib properly if you are creating a new environment okay so now let's uh, let's go on to uh, test uh, our Kera keras library so i have just put uh, time so that we know how much time it takes so using TensorFlow backend. The moment of truth, it's uh, we are able to uh, load the Keras library properly. Now we'll be loading few other 
uh, modules from the Keras library, that is uh, data sets, models, layers, utils. I'll not go in uh, detail in, uh, in each of them. It's, this is just a test script. Script, I want to see whether the Keras is working properly or not. Okay, this ran properly. Matplotlib and NumPy. Okay, uh, basically I am testing MNIST handwritten data set uh, digit recognition uh, problem. So I just uh, took this code and I'm running it. So this will output the digits. Okay, now let's set the seed. Train test split. Okay, now this will flatten the images. This will normalize the, the vector. Now, one hot encoding using Keras two categorical module uh, method. This ran properly. Now, uh, we are just creating a baseline model using sequential dense and then we are compiling it and then returning the model. So this is just defined. We'll run the model here and we'll fit it. This will give some warning. Now the epochs will uh, the, uh, I have mentioned 10 epochs, so the whole thing will run 10 times and it will show us the accuracy and the validation accuracy, the validation loss and validation accuracy. So this uh, validation accuracy will uh, keep, on, uh, keep on increasing, it should increase. So as we can see 0 0.95, from 0 0.95 it went to 0.97. So I'll not pause the video this time, I'll let it complete. Okay, so it reached in the our accuracy reached point nine eight. So it increased 0.9826 again it decreased a little bit so we are on the eighth epoch so 0.9827 now running the ninth epoch it increased a little bit 0 0.9830 and on the last epoch Point nine eight two seven. So uh, this uh, ran the uh, the model uh, properly. Now we'll just uh, print uh, plot some graphs for uh, test and uh, validation accuracy. Okay. So uh, this is how the plot is getting the, the graph is getting plotted so basically this was just a test script to show uh, uh, to check if the keras library is working properly or not so i'll just summarize again uh, regarding the installation of keras the first thing is we need to create a new conda environment we can do this using conda create hyphen hyphen name and here comes the uh, the environment name I have chosen deep learning you can uh, create any uh, you can create the environment by any name of your choice so once you are you have created the environment you need to run activate deep learning although the, all these things you need to do in anaconda prompt and try to run it with as administrator now once this is done you need to install uh, you need to run this command to install keras Conda install hyphen C and Conda Keras. So after this, you need to install Jupyter and Spider in the new environment. So uh, hopefully you will be able to install and run Keras properly. So that's all for today's video. And uh, thanks a lot. Ho ho hopefully it was useful. Take care.